So I was reading the other day about dolphins and whales, and I am not a real big dolphin or whale lover, or really animal lover at all. Um, I like my dog, but I really don't go out of my way looking up on forums and stuff about animal brutality and, uh, you know, all those people who freak out about KFC chickens. And I'm not saying that those aren't worthy causes, I'm just saying that I don't particularly care that much. It's not that important to me. Uh, but I read an article recently that says that some researchers feel that dolphins and whales, due to their intelligence, should be classified as non-human persons. And immediately, uh, or not immediately rather, after I read the article, I realized that this was a very, very good example of people who are trying desperately to do the right thing, but fail miserably and end up making the cause seem dumber um, just due to the fact that they really didn't put much effort into this article. You can tell that the people who are contending this really didn't think out the logic in it. So uh, it, really the big contention is that Dolphins, whales, should be called non-human persons due to their level of intellect, because they are so much smarter than we initially thought. And uh, my number one problem with this is how they're using intelligence as a gauge of value. And uh, what, I, what I mean by that is that we as humans see intellect as, you know, the utmost good in, you know, an optimal situation. We look up to smart people. Intellect is something that is valuable in our culture. We see intellect as uh, having potential. We can use that to expand our civilizations. It's a very, very valuable thing to us. And so naturally, we want to use intellect and project our values onto the animal kingdom. And so when we look at animals, we like to do it from our species perspective and judge them uh, based on their, you know, mental deficiencies compared to us. And uh, to do that is intellectually dishonest, because even though intellect has been proven to be the dominant feature that helps us to conquer this planet, it's not the best feature for survival. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Just judging something based on how smart it is isn't honest. I mean, imagine for a second that um, the value of life was judged on how well you could survive. Well, suddenly we would be pretty shitty animals. It, it seemed that bacteria is the best at survival in all of these harsh climates and temperatures. We can't do that. We suck. Now, does that mean that because we're bad at survival and because we can't compete with the bacteria on that level, uh, or at least some bacteria, that we're not as valuable as them? No, of course not. It's just that hardiness is what that bacteria has had to evolve in order to keep fighting and survive in the same way that we evolved intellect. Now, for us to look at animals and then judge them based on how smart they are is like, um, imagine that orangutans ruled the world, okay? They were all over the place. They were the dominant species. They controlled everything, okay? And the orangutans and their ape language were talking about humans. And they thought, hey, you know what? Um, I think that we should allow... Uh, gibbons and chimpanzees to be non-orangutan persons, but not humans. Because, I mean, when you look at gibbons and you look at chimpanzees, they can still swing in the trees like us. They can still, you know, they're still strong and fast and physically able. But those humans, they're so much weaker. Um, they're slow. They're just not that great. I mean, uh, I don't think we should call them non-orangutan persons at all. They're just not up to snuff. And that seems ridiculous, but that's exactly what it is. It's intellectually dishonest to use our best trait to judge other animals. That doesn't make any sense. Um, so, first of all, it only takes a couple seconds to realize that the logic on this is completely off. It doesn't make any sense at all because uh, it's completely ethnocentric, or I guess rather uh, species-centric. An example of this, I guess, in the ethnocentric context would be if, let's say, Canada challenged uh, the Congo to an athletic competition, and Canada shows up in the Congo, and the only thing that they play to determine athletic ability is ice hockey. Now, clearly, this isn't a fair competition, since Canadians have an advantage, and for the Canadians to deem that they are the most athletic simply because they play hockey better isn't honest, because they're using a means that is not contextually sound. It's not the same for both of them. And so for me, all I'm trying to say is that this is just, uh, I'm going to link the article in the description if you guys want to read it, but basically this is just a perfect example of people who are on the right side of an issue. They're really trying to fight for what's right, but when it comes to logic and reason, they just get just absolutely pooped on. So really, this is just kind of me saying, you know, if you're going to pick the right side on an issue and you're going to do an article like this, like at least make it convincing because when you mess up an article this bad on a logic perspective, you end up turning way more people off uh, than turning people on, which I don't even know how you should take that. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have an opinion on this, let me know and uh, I'll talk to you later. Love you.